Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon. This is going to be a client's past life reading. <laughs> I am lighting a candle. This one is sea salt vanilla. It smells so good. Um, so we will have this on the table. I think I'll put you over here, hopefully you won't fall. Okay, so today's reading is a past life reading for a client, and the really exciting part about this is this is my client's very first reading with me. So, um, thank you for choosing me to be your tarot reader, um, and I hope that you enjoy your reading. Um, I have a few crystals out on the table really feeling the ethereal vibe for you. Um, past life readings, just so you know, are channeled. Um, it's like channeled insight. And I also work with the tarot and the oracle cards to pull, you know, details and whatnot. But <clears throat> um, when I was thinking of your reading, I was tapping into a lot of um, energies of out of the world, out of this world, not of earth. <laughs> um, so I don't know if you have an interest with fairy tale, but I was feeling like fairy tale energies when you were a child. Um, so one of the decks I pulled reminds me of that, but I was also feeling um, the particular past life that I'm going to tap into is um, not of planet earth. You were actually your soul was reincarnated onto earth but you were of a different planet and so because of that i'm going to be working with my um syrian um my syrian starseed tarot i think that's what it's called <laughs> um this deck really gives me the vibe of um just extraterrestrial you know other star system type of energies um and then, of course, the Nature's Whisper Oracle, which I have not used this deck in so long, um, really makes me feel a fairy tale. And for you, I was really feeling fairy tale energy. Let me turn on this light so I get a little bit more light in here. Um, I was really feeling fairy tale energy for you. So that's what we're going to do. Um, there we go. Perfect. Okay. So like I said, everything is channeled when I do, um, past life readings. I trust what I'm feeling. I trust what I feel, what I see, what I experience. And when I, like I said, when I was first tapping in, those are the energies that I was seeing for you. I feel like as a young child, you were very much into the imagination, heavy imagination, um, fairy tales, like believing in unicorn, mermaid, fairies, you know, wanting to be the princess, all of that kind of thing. But I also feel like it's actually more real than you think. Um, you're so tied into that stuff because it kind of reminded you of home, even though you didn't know it did. Okay, you don't realize it. I know it sounds crazy. That's the exciting thing about past life readings is um, <laughs> there's no judgment whatsoever. Um, half the time, the stuff that I see or feel for clients is pretty out there. Um, but all, most of the time, nine times out of ten, because there will always be, you know, that one person that doesn't resonate, which is normal. Um, but nine times out of ten the clients will resonate with some of the most bizarre messages that come through in the cards. So trust what is coming through, um, have an open heart. And because this is your very first reading, um, you know, you can replay this as many times as you like. It's in a video format. Um, I welcome you to take notes. Um, you know, whatever you got to do, this is your video. So, that was just my little intro on that, um, just to give you an idea of the vibes that I was feeling for your past life. And I'm very excited to see <laughs> what actually comes through because um, anything that is of extraterrestrial, anything that is not of this star system, this planet, 
um, I am 100% on board with because I really feel connected to that as well. So I'm really excited to see who you were in this past life. <laughs> and then we will pull cards on how this past life um, is affecting you in the present life and what you can learn from it. So there's three parts to the reading. Ooh, there we go. Okay, let's start pulling cards. So the one that came out, well, this is the Two of Crystals, okay? Two of Crystals, the Ace of Crystals, Master of Chalices, or King of Cups, and the Seven of Flames, or Seven of Wands. So what I'm seeing here with the past life an indec you're indecisive. There was you were either between a decision or between people. Um, a lot of witchery work, okay. Utilizing your own um, energies for like spell work and whatnot. We have contemplation, catch your breath, and clear endeavor. Lots of mind work, okay? Um, you definitely worked with all of the elements except for we have fire, water, and earth, but we don't have air, which is the mind. <laughs> um, so I am feeling... The reason why I'm feeling the witchery is because of the seven of flames. That was like the first feeling that I was getting. Seven of flames, though, is blocks, okay? Um... So I feel like with your with the kind of work that you did was you were a manifester of your own um, dreams. You were a witch, in other words, in other if you you know want to put a term to that. Um, you used a lot of manipulation of energy, and I feel with the two of crystals is either this was between you were caught between two people, um, or you were indecisive about something that you were doing. I feel like there was a lot of struggle with love with the master of chalices that's peeking out that all you see is the eyes in this card. And that's really making me feel like, um, there was one particular spell that you were attempting to do. Um, and you were caught between, you were like caught in the middle of two loves and I feel like you were trying to figure out which was the better love path for you to take that was also why the seven of flames is popping up to me as like um like I think I was I said earlier I said earlier obstacles um you were caught between two lovers trying to decide for you know what you wanted to do so it's kind of it's kind of like um you were dealing with natural you know human situations which is being caught between two people trying to make a decision between two lovers but then you were also part of your witchery you were um making spells and you know doing that kind of thing ace of crystals is is, is definitely showing that you had that power to manipulate manipulate energy manipulate um you know things even people okay so very powerful witchery um from this particular past life that we're peeking into. Um, I also, I just heard eyes of the soul. So I feel like the eyes are, are coming through as another message too, that you had the ability to see beyond people, um, you looking within, okay? You would read their hearts, but it was like you could see their heart through their eyes. So you you were able to, to read people just by gazing into their eyes. Very... Um, mystical very like witchery related whatnot um the oracle cards catching your breath contemplation and, and clear endeavor are making me just kind of feel um you knew your path you never questioned what you were meant to do in life clear endeavor is really making me feel like you always knew that this was the path that you were supposed to do you were always supposed to be that witch you were the town witch or the whatever People knew what you did. You didn't hide it. It wasn't a secret, okay? Um, catching your breath feels, I feel, you would get so caught up in what you were doing that sometimes you would forget or lose sight of who you were. Um, I also feel like it was a reminder for you, too, to slow down, that you would get so invested into your spell work and, and the things that you were doing that you would lose sight of actually experiencing life. Um, so that's the vibe I'm also getting, too, is that you were so invested in 
doing work and doing spell work for other people that you lost sight of your own personal life. And perhaps it was like you were always able to, you know, manifest these things, these desires that these people that your clients or however you wanted to call them had. Um, but for some reason, manifesting love and to decide between two people that you really cared about was very difficult for you. Um, contemplation, like I said, you the it's it's contemplation is of the mind or the air element, which is the one element that you are lacking in the spread, um, which is showing me like even though you had the power to manipulate energy and that you were able to see into the souls of people and that kind of thing, either your your thoughts were your most um, weak, like that was your weak spot. Your 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 mind was your weakest area to yourself um and i feel like it also goes with the power of judgment i was like hearing judgment um when you okay so what i'm hearing is like when you pause <laughs> when you would pause or when you were quiet is when you would hear the truth so you were always kind of keeping busy and working on the next plan the next spell this and that because you didn't want to sit in your own silence um, I feel like you were mentally tormented um, where you would hear things or, you know, you spirit would be talking to you in certain ways and um, you didn't want to hear the truth. So that could also be another reason why the sword suit was is scarce in your reading right there. Something about the mind, though. OK, so that's that's what I'm really tapping into. Um, so definitely we can, we can establish then that in this particular past life, not of this world, this world or this realm, I was telling you how I was feeling the fairy tale feeling and there we have it with the witch. Um, you know, obviously witches play big roles in fairy tales. <laughs> um, I don't know if they play big roles in your life right now, but, um, that is definitely something that was very heavy with you. You had the ability to see people's souls you can see within through their eyes you can read their hearts through their eyes um but you are also dealing with your own average um issue or struggle which is being caught between lovers so lots lots came through for that one <laughs> so let's see how this affects you in the present life <clears throat> i know in your in your email you mentioned you know, you wanted to see your past life in terms of create, do like creative struggles or, you know, um, how it affects you today, but also creatively. So perhaps you are looking for an outlet. These two cards wanted to come out before. So that's so funny that they flew out again. <laughs> so we have eight of crystals, five of flames. So this is, we're reading about how this um, influences you in your present life. So eight of crystals, um, five of flames, and seven of orbs really showing me that you can take off with this again, that you always have always um, carried with you the ability to dabble, okay? So if witchery is important to you or energy work or dealing with um, energy manipulation, that kind of thing, manifesting your dreams, maybe it's you've noticed that when you when you really do manifest what you want you you have that ability to get when you basically it's when you put your mind to something you will get it you create it and you've always known that about yourself just know that that is a piece of your past life as a witch and as your ability to do those things um you still carry those abilities with you so i do feel that the eight of crystals um and maybe you yourself are a crystal lover, <laughs> but eight of crystals is the process of growth and, and building. You are constantly um, bringing new energies into your life. You're constantly strengthening your path, your spirituality. You are meant to keep growing. Eight of crystals is all about building and, and hard work. And, you know, you, you are always meant to continue evolving. Okay. Five of Flames, though, Five of Flames is a little bit temperamental. This is conflict. This is, you know, um, fighting against other people. This is opposing opinions. So perhaps in your present life, your past life influence on it is maybe you feel at odds with your path. Maybe you feel at odds with things that you are interested in. Is it taboo for you? Is it something that you would have to hide from family members or friends? Um, is this a subject matter that you want to learn to blend in with your present life? 
you know, but you find it's hard to do so. There's a, there's a lot of block there. Um, it's a fire card and what I, how I see it as a block is also showing me that fire is, is naturally a, um, <sighs> fire naturally wants to take down everything that in its path. Okay. It is a, um, it's a destroyer, but it's also a, a need like it, it, it consumes, but it's for a purpose. And so I feel like because it's fire energy and this card is acting as a block, your creative outlets are blocked because of fears, limitations, limiting belief systems, other people's limiting belief systems, that kind of thing. So if you can put, put out, like literally pull, put out the, <laughs> the negative viewpoints and opinions and those blocks, you will be able to allow yourself to creatively, you know, consume like fire is meant to. Fire is not meant to be um, segregated. It's not meant to be locked in, you know. You are supposed to be consuming and you're supposed to be growing. And so by you not being able to do that, it makes you feel disconnected and in a weird place because naturally you feel I am supposed to be doing something more and I feel like that's something that you are tapping into right now is I'm supposed to be doing something more with my life why can I not consume well it's other people's limitations I feel for you okay and it's very different energy from your past life because a past life as a witch and in able to do those things freely and the community was always coming to you freely it was easy for you to live that lifestyle, whereas now you have more limitations. You are in a more conservative um, lifestyle, okay? People around you, not you yourself. Um, the other thing I feel with just looking at these two cards first, the other thing that I feel with this is with love because I do feel that the fact that, you, that I was tapping into you being indecisive about two people, two lovers in your present life, it makes you want to work harder for your relationships. So I see the eight of crystals and the five of flames as even though times might get tough with lovers, you will always do more than beyond your limitation to maintain love. It is very important for you to fight for it and you will fight for love. So that's another thing I was feeling with that too, just, just so you know. Um, and then we have seven of orbs, which I feel like this is like set yourself free. Okay, so after that whole message about limiting beliefs, other people's limiting beliefs holding you back. Um, you're meant to your soul you in this present life because obviously in your past life you were <laughs> beyond free. Um, but in this present life, your soul is definitely meant to be set free. You have so many other things to discover, okay? I see how they're dropping the orbs, which is the air card, by the way. So it's funny that the air card came up for you in this setting. Um, I feel like this is your wishes, your dreams, your goals, but it's also like she's dropping seeds. Okay, so you're you you are in you're planting pieces of you all over the place in your present life. Um, that is at least what your soul is meant to do. Okay, but you haven't been able to because you feel so limited. Next, we have be true to your heart. That's powerful message. Be true to your heart. Um, that's a call for you to do what you feel inclined to do, what you feel is natural for you. Um, being true to your heart is you're answering the call of your soul. Ideal course of action. You already know the path that you are supposed to take. It's just you already know the path that you're supposed to take to consume, but you are allowing other people or fears to block your ability to consume and then we have perfect setting so for you perhaps it's you know that perfect moment maybe that's what you've been waiting for or that's what you think you had to wait for was the perfect moment to consume the perfect moment to start really being yourself and to let your true self come out um i will be the first person to say that there is no perfect moment um you know sure the it's like you could have that that perfect timing or like at least in your mind, you feel this would be the best time to do this. But from my experience, um, if you can start chipping away at your dreams now to do it, 
um, rather than setting a limitation of, okay, I will only do it if this happens, um, or once this happens, I will do it, because I myself have done that so many times in my life, and I will tell you, if I could have just faced fears ahead of time, I would have been doing this a long time ago, so um, don't... Don't block yourself into thinking that everything has to be perfect before I can do this. You can literally start to do it now, you know, slowly if you have to, but start chipping away at, at things now um, because you have that power to do so. Oh, this one wants to come out too. Okay, so um, what you can learn from this past life, because we have, we saw how it influences you. It's, it's obviously you're being blocked right now. You're in a different setting though, okay? So how that um, you can learn from this past life, we have nine of orbs and karma. So nine of orbs, I feel, is you're actually feeling everything. As you can see, she's very coward. She looks like she's fearful. The orbs is your mind, your air element, your fears. You are living a life right now where you came from a past life where you were free, okay? You were free to have your own mind. You were free to do what you wanted to do. You didn't have any limitations, okay? But in this present life, the Nine of Orbs is revealing you are dealing with karma, a lot of fears, okay? It's almost like you're dealing with a lot of the opposite energies of your past life. So this present life, you are noticing there are fears. There are, and I'm going to pull a different deck out for you. Um, there are fears that you're dealing with. There are limitations. There's people in your life <laughs> that are acting as boundaries. Um, so, you know, and, and I don't want to say like this is karma because in a way karma is kind of like, well, you get what you deserve, but you don't deserve this. I feel it's just... You're being taught a lesson of fears to face fears because you had it easy in that other particular in that la in that last past life. Um, you know, as a witch, you didn't have to think twice about what you were doing because you were technically allowed to be who you wanted to be. But in this present life, you're more limited. So, your lesson in this present life is facing fears. Your lesson is um, listening. To be in silence and to listen to to what your mind is telling you. Because I do feel you have a fear of, you know, what your mind is saying to you. You have a fear of hearing the truth. Um, and also hearing what other people have to say. Because I feel like you have a lot of nosy people in your life um, that like to give you two cents when you don't need it. Um, that's another vibe I'm picking up from you. So... <laughs> A lot of um, karmic lessons in this present life. And, you know, you take it for what it is. Don't let it control you. We all have karmic lessons. Um, but you're going to be you're gonna be okay. Sometimes they're not fun. I'll tell you that. <laughs> but um, we, they build us, they build character and they, they strengthen us. So, which is why I pulled these cards. Because I wanted a, a clearer message. We have power. Okay, um, material harvest. So you're learning a different way to harvest the dreams, to harvest goals, your material tools. You're, you're just, you're doing the same thing that you did in your past life, only you're just in a different state. You are not able to freely put a spell together and make things happen. You actually have to work a little bit harder than that. Um, and you're dealing with some other lessons. You have temptation around you, okay? I feel like you've been getting that call lately um, where, you know, the topics of witchcraft, the topics of spell work, the topics of um, dabbling in, you know, divination or whatever. You, I feel like you've been tapping into that. I feel like it's been calling to you where you have been wanting to, to do something more. Um, don't ignore that call. That is something that is meant to help you grow. You are being called because that is ingrained in your soul. You are a witch. You are, um, you are not meant to live a conservative, you know, boxed in lifestyle. You are eclectic. You are meant to be everywhere. And when you have the power to see into other people's souls and to, um, divine and into and 
to make spells and make things happen and manipulate energy, you will never forget that. So <laughs> it's a part of you. So if you've ever felt like, where is all this coming from? Like, why am I interested in all this stuff? It doesn't make sense. Well, now you know. <laughs> so I hope that that helped you. Um, here's a couple, just a couple cards for some guidance for your future. We have the wishing game. I mean, I'm sorry, the waiting game, which is... Um, Everything that is meant to happen in this present life is going to take some time. Nothing is instant. Patience is key, okay? Especially if you are going to open up the doors to this process of tapping back into your witchery. Um, patience is key. So remember that nothing happens overnight. Material and sp spiritual prosperity. It looks to me that you are going to have another um, moment where you're going to be, you know, opening some doors. There's going to be a lot of abundance coming your way spiritually. It's like you're going to get a boost in growth. I feel like this reading, you needed to hear the message because it's now going to spark some in, um, inspiration within you to continue tapping into these subjects that you you were maybe a little unsure about because now you know your soul. This is like your, your soul is at home. That's why you were feeling so connected. Um, so I wish you all the best. I'm really excited for you. I think that this is going to be, this is, this will be helpful to you. Um, and I'm really eager to see, you know, what takes, what takes on after this for you. So this concludes your past life reading. Um, thank you for allowing me to read for you. And, um, I'm glad that, you know, this was your first experience and I hope that you got a lot out of it. If you have any questions, please send me an email and anybody who is watching, this is the past life reading. It is available in my shop. So check it out and I will talk to you guys later. Bye loves.